Ninja Training TV. Today we're going to go over basic concepts of Ichimanji. Ichimanji is figure number one posture. So there's a lot of things with Ichimanji that you can see. Where's my hand position? In Kotoru school, we have the hand up high. Gyokuru, we come in for maybe a little bit of a turned hand and we have a different feeling behind what we're doing. But if I was a police officer and interviewing somebody, I have to watch my weapon, so I might have my book out when I'm interviewing them, and I'm in a form of Ichimanji right now because I'm protecting the weapon, bringing it back away from the person. The footwork on the Ichimanji also is very important. If I have an attacker coming in here, I might want to have an Ichimanji where it's more of a fighting stance where both feet are forward. But if he has a sharp razor, razor knife, I might want to be in an Ichimanji where I can get out of here so my back foot can be turned out. If he advances with that sword, I can just turn and run and get out of there. So your Ichimanji has a lot of different uh, feelings and meanings to this. If this person didn't have their sword and we were just engaged, maybe I'm going to have mine more forward so that I can come in and take him and do different things with that. So your Ichimanji footwork and your Ichimanji handwork is going to do a lot of different things. I might not show an opening with this type of Ichimanji, but maybe I have this arm down really far like I've been injured or something. And he comes in to do his punch, and then I can take that and move in some different type of way. Hey! So these are some different breakdowns and explanations of Ichimanji. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit like, and share our videos, and just follow this link right here, and you'll be all set to get to some more of our awesome videos for you guys on Ninja Training TV. This is Mark Renke. Keep training.